Honor Mayor for, for St. Michael's of Central. Mr. Speaker, I rise to support my colleague, the Honorable Member for St. Michael North, and on this legislation, which, as he has indicated, is not mere administration. Uh, it is at the very heart of an evolution that the Queen Elizabeth Hospital and the health sector in this country has experienced over the past few years. The fact is that when this Barbados Labour Party government came to service in 2018, we encountered a certain level of degradation, including of institutional capacity in some ways. We saw, and I, I, I want repeat all of the various indicators of decay and decrepitude that had taken hold in a previous Democratic Labour Party administration. We experienced it all. We experienced it all in our homes, in our communities. I need not repeat numbers to reflect that. But what is important to note here is that this government had to have a certain flexibility and level of innovation with the way that we treated to our institutions. This government had to realize that in some cases, of which the Queen Elizabeth Hospital was one example, we needed to make sure that the leadership had a steady hand, as did the executive capacity of the institution. The governance needed to have a steady hand, as did the side that was executing in every area from accident and emergency to ambulance service, to obstetrics, to every area of service delivery to the people of Barbados. And so the determination was made at that time and discussed and debated in this honorable place. I'm not sure if on that occasion the honorable member for Christchurch South had managed to come in to ask to be marked present or had removed his sunglasses enough to be able to read what was long enough to be able to read what was before him. But that conversation did come to this place. And at that time, it was determined that this leadership that was needed that was steady, that was needed was one that was steady. It was determined at that time that there were so many existential matters relating to the health and care of Barbadians, not least among them, issues like pandemics. Not least among them, and you know, as the Honorable Member for St. Michael North was speaking, I reflected on the work of the former board of the Queen Elizabeth Hospital, of the former Minister of Health and Wellness in this country, and indeed, we had to make sure that we had all available and suitable resources in place within a governance structure that matched the time. You know, Barbados is a small place. And it is no secret that often we are faced with the fact that the person who is best equipped, who is best placed to deal with both matters of corporate governance and of execution in this case, may be somebody who sits next to us, who lives next to us, who's a member of our family. That's the reality that we deal with. And the fact is that the way that we manage that 
is we make sure that our corporate governance rules allow us to incorporate things like recusal from sensitive matters, because we, in a country of 270,000 people, the same people that benefit from the governance and policy and program execution are the same people that have to do it. We don't get to have an audience in this country. We have to bring all resources to bear to make sure that we cater to and care for all Barbadians. We now find ourselves in a situation where we have gone a ways having recovered from COVID in all kinds of ways, where we have gone a ways to stabilize that sector. And we consider that having done so, we can now have a return to normalcy. This is not the only sector that is starting to enjoy that return to normalcy. And so I wanted to add my voice to this for the avoidance of doubt. This is a question of having institutions created and governance mechanisms created that are fit for a purpose, that allow us to bring all of our resources to bear. If you look around, Mr. Speaker, I dare say you will find that there are other scenarios in which those who are close to us, who are Barbadians too and have a right to be able to contribute, those who are close to many members, those who are close to many Barbadians, every day, all the time, we rely on and call on their capacity to give back to this country as we should. And so, sir, I support the amendment. I think it is important that it be carried through without any cover or any insinuation of ulterior motives on the part of this government, but simply to say that having steadied the health sector Having studied the QEH in one capacity, we are ready to go forward with the reform in other ways. And with that, sir, I'm obliged to you.